Every airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Miami Opelika Executive Airport from the flight deck. Miami Opelika Executive Airport, Oscar Papa Foxtrot, is a medium-sized, primarily general and business aviation airport located in Miami-Dade County, Florida. It is also home to the Miami Coast Guard Station with its fleet of mixed and rotor wing aircraft. Opelika is just six miles north of the larger Miami International Airport and five miles south of the North Perry Airport. Even though Miami International is a much larger airport, the runway configuration is somewhat similar and the airports are sometimes confused. Opelika has associated Class Delta airspace that is adjacent to and underlies the Miami Class Bravo. It is also adjacent to the North Perry Class Delta to the north. When planning a trip to Opelika, thorough review of rules and requirements to operate in this complex airspace is highly recommended. The traffic consists of primarily private jet and propeller aircraft, charter jet flights, flight training aircraft, and police and fire helicopter response units based at the airport. As stated earlier, the Coast Guard has a presence as well. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability make Opelika an interesting and challenging place to fly and work. The runway configuration is made up of a set of parallel runways, 9 and 27 left and right, and a non-intersecting runway located between the parallels, runway 1, 2, and 3, 0. The complex system of taxiways provides access to all services, ramps, and facilities found between the runways. One bit of advice, know where you want to park on the airport before you get there. There are several FBOs located on the airport, and letting the tower know early on will help them get you to your destination as expeditiously as possible. At any airport with parallel runways and staggered thresholds, the risk of wrong surface landings does exist. Add full-length parallel taxiways for each runway and the risk is increased. Positively identifying the runway cleared to use as early as possible is a good operating practice in this environment. Another unique aspect of Opelika is the proximity of the approach ends of runways 9 or left and 1-2 and runways 2-7 left and 3-0. Expectation bias or just the first runway pilot C can lead to wrong surface landings. A good check would be to verify your heading on final with the runway assigned. They should match. Hotspot number one is a very large area of concrete found at the intersection of taxiways Echo, Tango, Golf, and Hotel in proximity to runway 12 and 30. As a result of the large physical area, it does not allow for above ground signage. All of the markings and indicators are on the pavement. For pilots to become confused, this could easily end up in an incursion of runway 12 and 30. Understanding your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before you taxi will help avoid this type of error. Another taxi issue occurs at the intersection of taxiways Tango, Tango 1, Tango 2, November, and November 1. Aircraft taxiing for departure on either runway 9 or left or 1-2 have become confused and attempted to take off on the wrong runway. The implications are obvious. Checking your heading with the runway cleared to depart prior to takeoff roll will ensure you're using the right surface. There are several more unique aspects to the Opelika operation. Aircraft landing runway 9 or right 27 left will be instructed to remain this frequency after clearing the runway. This is because the tower is responsible for the runways and taxiways between runway 12 and 30 and runway 9 or right and 27 left. When taxiing for departure, ground control will assign a run up area if one is needed. 
There are several areas the tower uses located around the airport and they will send you to the one that fits best with the traffic flow. Major events occur in the Miami area on a regular basis. Opelika is a popular place to fly into and is a good alternative to Miami International. As such, during one of these events, the FBO's ramp areas can become full, and as a result, the airport owner will start utilizing taxiways and even a runway for aircraft overflow parking. Check NOTAMs early and often to keep updated on this situation. There is a robust helicopter community based at the airport. There are several arrival and departure routes for helicopters that proceed east or west between the parallel runways at or below 500 feet AGL. When the tower is closed, common traffic advisory frequency is on 134.675. One last general statement about any airport with an operating control tower. If you're ever in doubt or unsure of a clearance or instruction, the best answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Opelaka will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Miami Opelika Executive Airport. It's always better to know before you go.